So let's let's talk a bit about fan service. Something that's pandering to the the biggest of big fans when it comes to whether you know a movie, a game, a comic book, uh, anything of that nature, collectibles, items that are pandering to that section of fans of something in particular that are going to go above and beyond to get the things that they really feel they have to have. And one of the examples I used last time was Pepsi Perfect. Typically a bottle of soda is not something I would consider a fan service or you know one of the most sought after items, but when it, it replicates a movie prop, so specifically like the Pepsi Perfect bottle did in this case, then that was certainly um, an item that only a certain group of fans would be going after. And even further than that, using Back to the Future Part 2 as an example, are the Nike Air Mags, the actual shoes that Marty wears in the movie. Now those things were priced way out of the ballpark of the majority of people. But when I say that the, the biggest of fans, I almost feel like I have to temper that a little bit with the biggest of fans with the most of the dough. I couldn't get those shoes. There'd be no way that I could justify buying that pair of shoes as opposed to something more constructive and adult to do with my money. Frankly, I just wouldn't be able to explain it to my wife without dying. So I don't go there, you know? This leaves a bit of a problem for fans such as myself and, you know, folks that are fans of these things but maybe can't reach as far for stuff like that. There needs to be somebody out there for the folks such as myself and probably a lot of you as well. And it has to go beyond the Pepsi Perfects and the Nike Air Mags of the world for uh, movie merchandise. And that's where I kind of had a problem with Ecto Cooler. This should not be anything other than just um, pure and simple fan service for any fan out there. You don't have to be the biggest fan in the world of something but you notice the name, you know what it is, you have that automatic recall, or uh, especially with something like Ecto Cooler, especially if you were a child in the 80s, that's going to ring a bell for you most of the time, even if you weren't the biggest Ghostbuster fan in the world. Okay, so taking this a bit further, talking about fan service for everyone, Ecto Cooler definitely should be on that list, but one of the biggest, biggest fan service pieces that I ever that I've witnessed myself is none other than another Back to the Future item, which was the USA Today on Back to the Future Day this past October. USA Today released a replica of the newspaper featured in the film with Marty being taken away to jail. It had uh, needles on there. It had news about Uncle Jailbird Joey on there. It had uh, an advertisement or an article write-up about uh, uh, George McFly's book, A Match Made in Space. It had an entire page advertisement dedicated to Jaws 19. That's pretty amazing. And I'm sure, actually, you know what? Enjoy looking at it on the screen as you see it now. Maybe some of you picked it up, but the best part about this was not the fact that it was a piece of tangible merchandise. That was cool. The best part about it was how you could obtain it. I didn't have to go to Amazon. I didn't have to wait in line. And I didn't have to mark down any pre-orders for it. I got up the morning of, went down the street to a gas station, Speedway from where I'm from. That's the gas station I went to. And guess what? There it sat on the newsstand at retail price. Now that is fan service from a newspaper that really didn't have to go there. Very cool. You may have noticed that I'm in the car. Well, that's because I did go out and take a couple of adventures in the realm of trying to find some Ecto Cooler. Well, here's the deal, folks. I went to a rave motion picture theater, and guess what? Here it is. I found it. Ecto Cooler in my hand. Now, I did film the adventure that I went on. I'm gonna show that to you now. I'm back at it again. Oh yeah. These three, please. Okay. I've been scouring the, uh, the landscape looking for that. <laughs> I found it. All right, so having a little tour of the can. It's green, covering the tangerine. And 
It's got the Ghostbusters branding, but, but the best part about it is that it's a, a blend of orange and tangerine juices from concentrate and other ingredients. 150 calories per can. Shake gently before enjoying. Perhaps this is a gentle shake. The moment of truth, let's crack her open here. Literally haven't drank this probably since I was like six. Mmm, citrusy. Let's have a have a taste. Orangey, but green. So as you can see, it, it's very similar, but one omission that I'm noticing people are upset about, and I already knew this because I had, had looked at the can before, but it, it is it is notable, and I agree, uh, Slimer's not on the can, nor is he on the ones that come in juice boxes either. So what you have here is the, the tangerines, it's hard to show you, especially in the dark car, but it's got the slime over top of the tangerines, and, and you know, it's cool, it, it looks nice, and as far as I can tell, it tastes exactly like I remember, but the problem was I was very little when I had this the first time. For all intents and purposes, it, it's good, tastes good. So it was cool, it was a nice nostalgia trip. Thank you for joining me on this nostalgia trip. I, I might loosen the reins a little bit on the Coca-Cola company and, and the high sea folks now, but I shouldn't have to go to a movie theater to get this. This should be stocked, this should be everywhere. This should be one of those USA Today type of fan services. So here's to hoping that happens in the next days and weeks ahead. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time on Idle Chatter.